Hi, my name is Wayne Martin. I uh, am here today to demonstrate uh, a marvelous little device that I purchased recently called a, an e-book reader from uh, Sony uh, of Japan. Uh, these are uh, the next generation of e-book readers that have been on the market for every a year now in the United States. Both Sony has uh, this particular version and Kindle, uh, a product from Amazon. Both use this display technology called e-ink which was originally designed here in Palo Alto at Xerox Park and subsequently uh, spun off into a startup that uh, eventually uh, productized this idea. It's a mylar that has uh, little carbon dots embedded inside the, uh, the plastic and periodically when you want to repaint the page the, uh, there's a, a field associated with each dot that's fluxed and uh, the carbon dot either aligns itself in a way that it reflects light or not so that when the white uh, so that you have white space with uh, which reflects light uh, pretty much like a page would and dark space which makes up characters and it's very readable because the little carbon dots are, are very small um, the, Ken, uh, the, the Sony is rather nice uh, in the sense that it's very light. These things weigh only nine and a half ounces and uh, they're powered by a USB port so you can simply just connect it to your computer and you can power it um, whenever it needs powering. It also downloads through the USB port. There's a PC based client that is used to, uh, to download books from the internet uh, directly or indirectly. There's a, you can buy up to 40,000 books at the Sony store and Kindle, if you chose to, a Kindle reader, I think they have maybe 160,000 now titles online, uh, all of which are pretty inexpensive. They are in the $9, $9 to $15 range, uh, generally. Um, the Kindle is a wireless device, which means that you really don't even need to be near your computer if you want to order a book, download it, and read it. Uh, the Kindle also has, I don't know, maybe 15 or 20 newspapers that are uh, formatted for the Kindle and downloaded to your uh, to your Kindle every month for a very nominal fee, like $10 for the New York Times. Um, these devices are revolutionary in the sense that they also uh, have a lot of memory associated with them. These two slots here, one's a Sony slot, one's a s an SD slot, uh, just like in your digital camera. Um, this will hold um, up to 16 gigabytes of storage and this one two maybe four um, so for a normal 300 page ebook um, that's about three quarters of a megabyte we're looking at potentially 20,000 books being stored in an ebook reader so not only are these uh, devices now uh, readers which you can carry anywhere they become mini libraries um, the Palto library for instance has maybe 240,000 titles, uh, who knows, maybe 200,000 unique books. Uh, at 20,000 per, the whole Palo Alto Library could be stored on just 10 of these chips. So um, the world has changed in library uh, technology. Uh, if you look at the Palo Alto Library uh, of Measure N expansion, for instance, you'll find there is no master technology plan. There's no provisions for how people will be reading in the future with these mini libraries that they can carry around um, in their purse or uh, in their pocket. Um, and uh, so when you look at when you look at the measure in libraries, you begin to have to ask yourself, um, will people in the future be reading uh, out of these little readers, or will they continue to go back to a library, stand in line and and check books out like they have uh, for generations? It's my belief that uh, the times have changed, or times are changing at least, and that people should be considering what a library in the not too distant future will look like when these kinds of readers are in everyone's hands. Uh, a simple exercise, uh, for instance, of what it would cost to give everyone a Sony reader or a Kindle uh, reveals that depending on the price, of course, 100, 200, 300 dollars, that a town the size of, of Palo Alto, you could give everyone a Kindle for or a Sony ebook reader at $100 per for about five and a half or six million dollars. Um, as they go up in price, then of course it costs a little more. Even at $300, it would only cost 15 or 16 million dollars to give everyone a Sony ebook reader. The Palo Alto Measure In Library expansion is suggesting that we want to spend perhaps 200 million dollars 
for large buildings and staff increase, whereas we could get by very easily for $16 million uh, if we gave everybody a Kindle. So uh, food to think about in terms of, of the future of libraries. This is Wayne Martin saying, bye now.